overview of navigating the updated property-based back office system. Let's log in. Important to note here that your normal login will still work on the new system just like it always has. So now that we're in on the start page, let's jump right into product. I want to quickly point out the biggest differences of the new system, and one of those being the fact that it is fully mobile responsive, meaning it'll work across any device. So everything from your desktop, laptop, tablet, iPad, all the way down to a mobile phone. We also have the concept of some slide out panels on the main screen. So to the left, the three bars are where you can get to your quick links, uh, share documents, quick jumps into email if we're hosting that for you. And then over to the right, where the question mark is in the top right corner, we have a new slide out panel. And this is where you will see quick tips from the back office team, as well as uh, local insights from your local brokers. You also have a get help option here, and that will give you the ability to not only task your local staff for questions, but also to quickly contact property-based back office support or jump right into our new back office help center full of uh, help desk articles that you can search and lots of great information there for you. And of course, you can always still submit a ticket just like you always have. All right, so we'll close that and let's quickly talk about the other differences here. So of course, it's an updated look and feel. And as I mentioned before, it's mobile responsive, but you'll also notice that we've changed the header a bit. So we've uh, moved to kind of a condensed version here, cleaned it up quite a bit so that it is more comfortable for that mobile responsive uh, view. And so everything now lives under the new categories of start, connect, transact, promote, and learn. Connect really being the biggest difference because that takes the place of that old office tab. And so let's jump in there. All right, so now that we're in the Connect tab, which is the old office tab, uh, really the biggest difference here is that you no longer have those kind of drop down menus and click throughs and, and lots of clicks to kind of get into where you know, you're trying to go. Everything now is just kind of on containers right on one page for you. Nice, super simple, easy to get to and see. You can still jump into your shared office documents. Um, you can still get into your task, send notices, search your contacts. All the features you had before are still there just in a cleaned up kind of streamlined look and feel. We, we do have a slight change here in that your resource calendars are now called reservation calendars, but other than that, everything is the exact same there. And of course the calendar here, now you're just seeing a, a little bit of a truncated view. You can of course still click on the calendar, view the full screen, and even slide in those filters, just like you always have. You also notice another fun feature, which is uh, what we call a breadcrumb. So the ability to kind of quickly go backward to the page you were and follow that breadcrumb back, as opposed to having to go all the way up to the top of the screen and click an arrow to physically navigate yourself back, which you can still do as well. All right, so now that we've quickly touched on connect, let's jump over to transact because it's definitely a, a bit of a different layout as well. When we jump into transact, you'll notice the same concept. Everything's kind of in buckets or containers here so that it makes it really easy to see all right uh, within the main screen. I can still see my received files, so files that I've emailed or faxed in, get to my task, search listings, and of course, search for transactions. And I can of course also add transactions. The other thing I'd like to, to note and kind of point out while we're on this page, because this is really one of the first places we, we see it, is this concept of actions. So all throughout the system, you'll notice in the top right corner, a lot of times you will have the ability to click on a dropdown that says actions. And when you do, whatever actions are available in that particular uh, panel or container will kind of pop up for you. And then you can access those actions. In this case, I can click here to add a transaction. Of course, I can also just click the plus button and that's that's going to let me jump right in and add a transaction as well. Now I'm not going to walk you through adding a transaction in this video, but I do want to show you the list view when we will jump into a transaction so I can point out some of the key uh, differences. So let's jump in and look at that list view. Very similar to what you're used to seeing here. I still have the ability to see a quick photo of the property, um, who the agent is, the address on the file, and of course, if you are the agent, you're only seeing your own files here or files that have been shared to you. I can still get to my snapshot, see a quick version of where this file is at. Is it in review? Is it um, you know, active? You know, Kind of what's happening on my file, just like I've always been able to see. And I can, of course, create some custom search filters over to the side if I want to narrow that view down. Now I'm going to pick a file here and we're going to jump in and we're going to talk about some of the differences now. 
So what we've done here is we've kind of separated the timeline bar out from that action bar, if you will. Um, and really it's just pulling it down and making it a little larger on the screen on the summary tab here. It's still functioning in the exact same way as it always has. So you're still gonna wanna start as early as possible, hopefully in a starter showing phase. And as you move through the timeline bar, the tabs above now are still gonna you know, light up and let you know when information is needed um, with the, that little charm or icon. So really the difference is just a slight look and feel here. If I move to showing, it'll change what I need. If I move to contract, it'll change what I need. The summary tab is our default tab here. This is where we can see a photo of the property, our reference, and the last numbers. There's always gonna be a little version of next steps on the page to let us know what we need to be doing. And if we have certain integrations turned on, those will show to the right of the page. Also a big change on this uh, in this section is how we cancel a transaction. So we still have this concept of actions, which is where we can share or add, uh, do certain features. In this case, I can add an expense here if I'm under the contract phase, but we also have the ability to cancel this transaction. And that's down in the, in the bottom right corner. So I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. And that will walk you through the same steps, just like it always has for canceling a transaction. Now, as we move through the phases, of course, we're just clicking and responding to tabs. So we have our people tab, which is where our contacts live. Um, dates and info was the old uh, language in the old system. And so in the new system, it's now called details, but it's really the exact same thing. We can also set our property right from the details page as well. We can get to our uh, documents tab. So this is where we're gonna upload our documents, manipulate our checklist and um, expenses. And of course that notes and history is still there. When we pop back to the summary bar, we can see where we're at and we can continue moving forward. You'll also notice that you have a smaller version of that timeline bar um, and you can click right there as well. So once you get comfortable and familiar with kind of where you're at, you can move directly along through that timeline bar. And then of course, once you make it to that pre-closing phase and everything's kind of done, eyes are dotted, T's are crossed, your submit button will light up and you can walk right through submitting a transaction just like you always have. All right, so let's move over to the promote section. Not a lot has changed here. This is still a very similar look and feel to what you had before. Once again, the idea of action items in that top right corner where you can get in, um, if you're a manager and manage the products here, um, get to your past orders, etc. And we'll pop over to learn now. Learn, also very familiar um, to what you had in the, in the old system. Um, but just a cleaner look and feel. Now, I will note quickly that we will be bringing a video feed back in here. It's kind of tucked away right now, um, but that can be our video feed of back office training videos, or ideally your video feed of your in-house videos uh, that you are hosting that we can pull in for you and, and showcase to your agents here. Um, so now that we've gone through the main tabs across the top, I want to talk about a couple other quick features and then we will wrap this video up so you can jump in and start navigating on your own. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on my profile photo because this is how we can jump in and access our profile. So I can view my profile, I can get to my account, settings, Reports. So this is a little new, guys. Reports are now all living in one section. Lots of requests for this over the years, uh, having those two different sections of reports, how it would be nice to just have everything all together. So now all reports are all together. So you've got our personal reports. So those are the reports that the agents would see. Our office reports, so office admin, office managers, you still have access to those same reports. And then, of course, our office transaction reports for transaction managers. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about here is the control panel. So this is a little bit new as well in layout. And the control panel is kind of where everything admin management is going to live, right? So this is the ability to change accent photos. So that background kind of couch and uh, living room photo that you're seeing kind of blurred out there. You can get in and adjust that on your own colors and theme. You can actually go pretty crazy in here with colors and themes. So not only can you adjust branding and logo, um, but you can make uh, lots of decisions around colors. So colors that you want transactions to show as, colors on your calendar, uh, tags for associate profiles, lots of really cool stuff that you can do here and come in and update that theme. 
And then last but not least, you have a, a page where all of your integrations will live as we start rolling you um, your site over to live. And then of course we can log out right from here as well. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pop us back to the start page. I hope you enjoy jumping in and navigating through the new updated property-based back office system. Uh, support us here as always. You are more than welcome to contact us or submit any feedback. We hope that you enjoy the new site.